You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Hello my darlings, how you all doing? I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to another video and today I thought we would do a little bit of makeup. I haven't done a get ready with me in ages. Uh, now I'm not getting ready to go anywhere. <laughs> I am getting ready to do nothing just to go and sit um, in the living room, watch the telly. But you know what? In 2023, if that's what I want to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put my makeup on and I'm going to stay indoors. <laughs> because I always feel um, a little bit better in myself when I do put makeup on. I've loved makeup all my life. It's just one of my pleasures in life is nice makeup, skincare, perfume, that kind of stuff. I just love anything beauty related and I love sharing these kind of videos with you and I know that you guys like to watch them as well. Not everybody is into the makeup videos because not everybody is um, into makeup but I know that a lot of you are so I've got some new products to try today. I did show you a couple of them in my Primark haul the other day. Um, the foundation and the contour I've also got um, a couple of bits that I had. Do you remember um, a couple of my subscribers sent me um, mystery boxes and there was some beautiful bits of makeup in there and I've been dying to try them. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I'll show you those items as we go along. So if you like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you would like to. It's totally free, totally up to you. But it would be great if you would stick around and join my little growing YouTube family. So with all that said, let's do some makeup. Right, the first thing we're gonna oops, the first thing we're gonna start with. I've done my skincare. I've cleansed my face with a cleansing face wash in the shower. I have closed my pores with this. This is the Pixie Collagen Tonic. So I use that as like my toner, and then serum. I used this number one by Chanel, which is a re vitalizing serum this was also in one of the um mystery boxes from one of my subscribers so i've used that that's all gone now but i have got another one and moisturizer i have been using um this one this is the where's it gone oh god here we go i haven't got my glasses have i peptide this peptide moisturizer so i've been using that i thought oh, this was a primark one but i can't see i can't see whether it is primark but yeah that's the one i've been using got loads of different moisturizers so yeah that's the one i'm using at the moment and then what i'm gonna do i am gonna put some of this on this is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. I was going to put some of the um, e.l.f. Power Grip um, Primer on, but I'm going to go with this one because it's lovely and glowy. Superfood by Elemis. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on and you'll see the glow that it gives. It's almost like um, a highlighter. Can you see the glow? Maybe the lights are a bit bright. But yeah, it gives a lovely glow. And you can see it on the fingers. It's quite sparkly. So that is the priming moisturiser. I've put that on. So we're going to go in with, first of all, my favourite... You know what, I'll put this one on, I think. Um, glow Filter from Primark. This is in the shade 
mocha which is a bit dark but i have got a lighter foundation so that's okay so we're just gonna put some of that around the face i'm looking over here because i've got you quite high <laughs> you know what let me get my little mirror down here so i can look down there instead instead of looking over the top here so i've put a little bit of that on Just dotted it all around the face and then what I'm going to do is I am going to put the foundation on and mix it together so this is the illuminating foundation but from Primark in the shade toffee and this was six pounds it's the first time I'm trying this so this is um, a first impressions video as well of this new foundation so I'm just going to dot that around as well. And then I'm just going to use a brush. Trust the process. <laughs> I'm just going to use a brush to blend this out. And I've got my mirror down here. So let's get blending and see what we think. I did put some fake tan on. I used um, a different one. And to be fair... I wasn't very impressed, so I won't be using that one again. It hasn't lasted very long. So I'm just going to... It was this one that I had from... I think it was... Oh, it's leaked. Great. Oh, that's just great. You. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It was this one that I had from B&M. That's all the more reason for me to throw it in the bin now that it's leaked. This sun-kissed one. It, it wasn't very good at all. Oh, God, it's gone everywhere. I'm going to have brown fingers now. So, yeah, that's going in the bin. I didn't like it at all. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to blending this foundation and filter, glow filter out. Just blend it down the neck. I just use the very last bit under the eyes because less is more under the eyes. It's blended out really nice. It's a lovely formula. It's not too thick. Don't forget the ears. And then we'll blend it down here. We'll bronze up down there in a bit so it all matches. Still keep looking over the top. <laughs> and then just the last bit across the eyes. That is really, really nice. It's give nice coverage. Not too thick or um, cakey. It's very nice and it is giving a glow as well, can you see? I really like that. It's not gone funny round the nose. It's sitting quite well round there where I have got like quite large pores. Oh yeah, just carry on blending that down. And as I say, we will bronze down there in a little while. Yeah. I like that. And for £6, I'm thinking that it's a copy of the, a dupe, sorry, of the NARS Illuminating Foundation. And yeah, for £6, I am impressed with that. It's gone on lovely. It's blended out really nice. And as I say, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything like that. It feels really, really nice on the skin. It really does. Very impressed with that. So next we're just going to do a little bit of um, under eye concealer. Where's that one gone? It was in the wrong drawer. So this is from Aldi and this is the dupe of the Shape Tape by Tarte. And I've been using this and all I do is I put the tiniest little bit in the corner of my eye. Because as we get older... The least product we've got under our eye, the better. And we don't want, to, want it to look too cakey. A little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. This is just to, to balance it out a little bit, a bit down the side of my nose, and I'll blend all that in. Just bring that down a bit onto the dark, darker area. And then I'm just going to blend this out, and I'm going to use... A little brush I've found this is better than the sponge 
So I've been doing this and I just work it in little circular motions into the dark area in the corner of my eye, which is really, really dark. And then I just pat it and bring it down, down the side of my nose. And then just the last little bit across under my eye. So we're bringing it down the side of the noses, the noses, the nose as well, just so it's like a little bit of a reverse contour. And then just the last little bit across like this. So you've hardly got anything under your eye. It's all concentrated in that inner corner where it's darker and just down a little bit. Can you see how it's just brightened it up but it's not cakey so that tiniest little bit in the corner has done down the side of my nose the edge of my nose here where i tend to get a little bit red just blend it out and up so it brightens up this area here so i'm just going to brighten i'm just going to yeah blend the other side and do exactly the same thing the last little bit on the brush i've done down there and then I just go down the center of the nose as well and then I'm just going to blend this out it's just where the light hits basically it just brightens it up what I am going to do I'm going to do a little bit here to lighten this area up a bit but I am going to use a little sponge to blend that out and that is the concealing done very minimal very little product but it goes a hell of a long way this from Aldi I haven't seen it in there for a while but it's a really really good do I have used the uh, tart shape tape in the past and this is a very very good dupe for it excuse me so now what we're going to do is we're going to contour and i'm going to use this one from primark which is the dupe for the maybelline magic erase eraser concealer i got it in a dark shade uh hazel for the purpose of using it as contour it's a lovely cool shade i have used it i told you the other day so you just twist it like you do the um maybelline one and then you just tab it all around like that. And then we're going to blend it. It's all about the blending. <laughs> So this blends so easy, it's so creamy, and it just sinks into the skin. It's gorgeous. Look, it's absolutely beautiful. Gentle tapping motions. Just keep tapping. Looks like we're going full glam. <laughs> that wasn't the intention, but hey ho. Last little bit on the brush I'm going to use under my chin and along my jawline just to create that shadow. Can you see? So it gives you that chiselled look. When you're contouring your jaw, always bring it down so it gives that illusion of shadow. And that's just the last bit of what was on the on the brush that is absolutely gorgeous and I'm just going to get my makeup sponge and I'm just going to go over it just to take off any excess product there we go I love that I've got a hair on my face I can feel it right next thing we're going to do is we are going to powder I love this stuff as you can see it's the Maybelline fit me powder and 
I just love it. It's so brightening. This is the translucent one. And I just get a little powder puff, rub it in. I absolutely love it. Look, it's well used. I use it all the time. And then just pack your powder puff. And then I always start from the outside. And then use the last little bit for down the side of the nose and under the eye. Again, it's all about the least bit of product. And then I just bring that up towards my temple as well. You can see, look at the difference. It's, I love this stuff. And it's not expensive either. A bit down the centre of the nose. Forehead. And just around the T-zone. Perfect. Love that. Love this. I really, really do. You can get it in super drug boots, places like that. It's lovely. So I am really impressed with the contour. It's very pigmented. I did go in a little bit heavy, but I don't mind um, heavy makeup. You guys know that. But it's blended out beautifully. And for three pounds, I mean, you know, what not to love. I really do like that. And where's my makeup sponge gone? I'm just going to... Oh, man, it's got fake tan on it. Look, I'm just going to blend that a little bit more. So, right, really liking all of those base products. Love, love, love this mascara. Uh, mascara? <laughs> Foundation. We'll be using that again. And I also love the... Um, flawless glow this is going to be this one is a little bit darker this is the one that i normally use which is caramel which is nearly all gone um i am going to see if i can pick up some more this is perfect for the summer when you're tanned or you've got your fake tan on so yeah love those three products right what we're going to do next i think i might do my blusher yeah, let's do blusher. P. Louise, and this is the cheek of it in the in in the shade <laughs> legally pink. Again, absolutely love this blusher, this cream blusher. It's in like um, a tube, and it's got a sponge on the end. I'm just squeezing some more. <laughs> And then you just dab it and I'm just going to dab a little bit there and there and it's in this gorgeous baby pink colour. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to use my Made by Mitchell stippling brush just to blend it and it blends out absolutely beautifully. I'm going to blend it on the apple of my cheeks and then up towards the temple because we're going to add a little bit of powder blush to this as well. So brightening as well. And such a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. Love it. Absolutely love it. And then on top of that, I'm just going to get my Laura Mercier blusher in this gorgeous, like, strawberry ice cream colour. Bloody hell, I'm dropping everything today. And then I'm just going to... Add a little bit of that just to pinking it up a little bit more and make it a little bit warmer. Gorgeous. This is a gorgeous blusher as well. Look at that. Beautiful. So that's blusher done. We haven't got any new um, products to try as regards blusher today. So, yeah, love that. Right, next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And, oh my God, I have been loving this. This was out of one of my beauty boxes. And it is the Jekka Black Brow Gel. It's clear. Oh, and it just sticks your, belt, your brows up brilliantly. I am absolutely loving it. So I'll just show you what I do. And then I'll um, speed the camera up when I'm just 
you know, feeling them in because I take a lot of time. It's like a little comb, can you see? And you can see the gel on there. I'm going to bring my mirror a bit closer down here. And I'll just comb it through and then press them up. I'll show you. So I'll just go like backwards first through my brows just to get them coated like that. I know it looks a bit mad. So they're all coated like that and then I comb them the way that I want them to go. Like that. And then what I do, I get my finger and I just push them with my finger in the direction that I want them to sit flat. And then I fill in with an eyebrow pencil. Like that. I'm, I love this sticky up brow look, I really do. So I'm just going to do the other one. There we go. And now I'm just going to fill in with my brow sketch into the gaps and just make them look a little bit more even. Brow sketch from Primark, absolutely my favourite eyebrow product ever. So I'm just going to fill them in so I'll put you on a bit of a time lapse here so you know it's not too long because it takes me ages. That's it, <laughs> it takes me ages to do my eyebrows. I really enjoy doing them now. So yeah, um, PS by Primark brow pencil sketch brow sketch absolutely brilliant and then I've just carved them out with a little bit of concealer and then I'm just gonna tidy them up a little bit with the brush and these are not going anywhere they are glued down love it absolutely love it so that's the eyebrows done now let's move on to eyes i think <laughs> i think i might have a play with this the be perfect carnival three love tahiti stacy marie by be perfect and yeah this was again in one of my subscriber mystery boxes all oh, right till you see this oh look at the colors oh my god i have no idea what to do i have no idea what to do uh i think i might stay in this pinky purpley palette here so yeah i'm gonna do that a pinky purpley kind of look so let's find the brush new brush so we need a base color so i'm going in with this one here which is you can see my my double chin in that mirror then <laughs> lilac so i'm going to take some of that on fluffy brush and I'm just going to put it all over the lid into the crease. So this is like the base colour. Just flick it out at the sides here just to give it a little bit of a winged look. That is really nice. And again, if you've got hooded eyes, go over the hood, look forward and go over the hood. Just shade it in. I really like that. To the other eye that is such a pretty color i mean you could just stay there but we're not going to are we <laughs> uh sign brush i'm just going to use a sign brush and um you know what go bold or go home so we're going to try this color here which is magenta Gonna have to put that down to make me hand ache. So magenta, we're going in with that now. And we're gonna concentrate that on the corner outer corners and in the crease. Oh, this could go terribly terribly wrong. <laughs> but we'll see. And I'm just gonna pat it in the corner. And bring it up into the crease a little bit. Oh, my God, how gorgeous is that? 
I haven't put any um, eyeshadow base on or anything either. And look how bright that is. Wow. Impressed much. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. Wow. Just wow. That is absolutely beautiful. You know what? I'm really going to go for it today and I'm going to try something totally out of my comfort zone. And I'm going to add some orange. Why not? I've got a brush that's already been used on the orange and I'm going to... Um, actually, now that one's a little bit big. Let me find a smaller one. So, I'm going to put some orange on here and just do something completely different. Now, it's either a mix of mango or coral. I think I'm going to go with coral and I'm going to... Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just throw it on. Let's just throw it on the eyes and see what happens. Could end up looking a bit like Coco the Clown, but I'm going to go on the uh, inner corner with this. And take it over the top. The top. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Oh, wow. That colour is incredible. The pigment... What have I done? What do we think? You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to get that fluffy brush that's already got the orange on and I'm going to blend, just blend the edges out so it blends together. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely love it. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of a, like a neutral colour. Uh, that's spark. Oh, yeah, we'll go with that little bit of a sparkle there. It's called vanilla. This one here is a little bit sparkly. It's called vanilla, so I'm going to get a bit of that on the brush. And I'm just going to put it on the brow there, underneath the brow bowing, and bring it along to the front of the brow. Oh, my goodness, I'm loving this palette. Can you imagine the looks that you can create with this? You could just go total rainbow, couldn't you? Absolutely love it. Now, do I stop there? Or do I do some more? I think I might get a bit more of that magenta and just darken that up a little bit more. I absolutely love that. A really nice summer glam look, isn't it? So, you know, it wouldn't be a look from me if we didn't have any sparkle. So we're going to have some sparkle in the middle of the lid. And I might just use my finger and go in with this colour here called Pearl. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Just in the middle of the lid. That is gorgeous. It really, really is. But I think I want a bit more glitter on. <laughs> I really do want more glitter on. I've dropped something down there. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, we need more glitter. We definitely need more glitter. So I think I'm going to go in with this rose pink one here. Let's try that one. Absolutely love that. Now, need to do something underneath the eye. So, what colour shall we go with underneath the eye? I'm thinking we do both. So, I'm going to get the coral colour again. And just do here. Just in the inner corner. And bring it halfway across like so and then I'm going to go in with the magenta colour where's it gone the magenta colour and I'm just going to blend that in and bring that to the outer corner wow <laughs> 
I don't know, it's a new year, let's try new things. Wow. So I've just joined the magenta and the coral together. And um, yeah, that's what we've ended up with. You know what? Kind of like it. As I say, go bold or go home. What do you think? Right, we need some uh, some black black liner. So I've got my Lottie London AM to PM liner. I'm going to push that up a bit too much. <laughs> and I'm just going to do in the water line at the top. So I've just tight lined the top of my water line under my lashes with a black liner. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a tiny little brush like this. And then I'm going to go in with that um, pearl colour again. But I'm going to put it on the inner corner. Just a tiny little bit on the inner corners. And that, wow, that palette is just incredible i'm going to leave it at that i think because you know i could sit here all day keep adding to it but yeah i'm going to leave it at that i'm going to do my mascara we've got a new mascara to try this again was out of my subscriber mystery box and it's the bad girl bang from benefit now i have tried it and it is really good so i'm just going to put some mascara on that's what the wand looks like. It's quite flexible and thin. And it really grabs every lash. I've just done my lower lashes as well. Love this mascara. And it's the, what did I say? Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. Really right there. And I absolutely love this palette. Oh my God. So, what we need now is a little bit of... Um, concealer just to tidy the edges up a little bit so I'm just going to get a little bit of concealer on a brush and I'm just going to tidy this little bit up here just gives it a little bit more definition is all I mean you can leave it like that but I like the um, the definition the sharp line it also gives you that lifted look as well. Ooh. <laughs> so that's that done. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of bronzer from this is my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. God, I've got the dropsies today. Big fluffy brush, little bit of bronzer. a tiny bit just to warm the face up a little bit there we go and then a little bit of highlighter because you guys know I love my highlighter and this is my favorite one it's the Illamasqua Beyond Liquid Highlighter in the shade OMG I adore this stuff that's the highlighter done all we've got left to do is lips and hair so for lips i've got two new products to try three actually so the first thing is oh no i'm using my peel it's a lipstick and the lip gloss that's new i'm going to use my p louise lip liner in the shade shady lady this is my absolute favorite so i'm just going to line my lips i'm going with a nude lip today because the eyes are so bright so I'll just line the lips and the lipstick that I'm going to try is this one it's by uh, let me get it the right way up so Sue can you see that so Sue and this is the shade it's a lovely nude color light nude so I'm just going to put that in the middle nice nude lip and then I'm going to try this clear lip gloss that it's the friends X Revolution one, it's the Rachel lip gloss that was in, um, oh God, it's got one of them on it that you can never get off, that was in uh, that set that Les bought me for Christmas. There we go. <laughs> 
finally got into it. It's just clear, so I just wanted to say what, you know, whether it was that high shine stuff, it's quite sticky. Oh yeah, it's shiny. Now I've dirtied that. It smells and tastes like coconut. There we go. I do like that actually. It's not too sticky once it's on your lips. And that is the finished look. So what I'm going to do, I am going to straighten my hair and come back with my final thoughts. So I will see you in a second. There we go. That's the final look. And you know what? I kind of like it. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, yeah, I am liking it. And it's my New Year's resolution. I'm going to step outside my comfort zone and I'm going to try something different. Let me know if you guys are into that, you know, if you want me to try all these different looks and experiment with colour because I've really, really enjoyed doing that video. I really like all the products that I've used. The foundation was lovely. I love the Flawless Glow filter anyway. The lipstick was nice. The eyeshadows are incredible. The um, mascara is incredible. I love everything that I have used today. Let's zip this up and then we'll look a bit more like... I was thinking like, you know... Um, I don't know. I just got like 60s, 70s kind of... Um, feeling when I put this unitard on it zips all the way up to the top and I was like yeah let's do something different so that is my uh, makeup look for today to go and sit on the sofa <laughs> and cook the tea but yeah I like it let me know what you think down in the comments if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you all very very soon friday i'll see you friday um maybe a little bit of a vlog uh, i'm in the process of taking all the christmas decorations down so I'm, you know i'm going to film a little bit of that not not all of it some cleaning um some cooking not baking we're not we're not baking <laughs> because the last uh, baking episode was a bit of a fail wasn't it you know the uh, what was supposed to be the, the snowflake yeah but yeah I might do a bit of cooking yeah just a little bit of a vlog and you know bits and pieces I've got a couple of bits to show you so that'll be Friday I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all so so soon love you bye